Welcome back. Well, it is New Music Tuesday. Always exciting things coming out. John and Michelle from Waterloo Records are here with us this afternoon. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. All right. So what's happening this week? Well, we're going to start off with a favorite of mine, Wanda Jackson. Yeah. Uh, saw her at the Continental Club for her birthday party back in October. This one is produced again by Jack White of the White Stripes. And uh, he brought a bunch of friends in from My Morning Jacket and his bands Rock on Tours and Dead Weather. And uh, she's still the queen of rockabilly. That's all there is to it. How long has she been around? Uh, she started out in the 50s, back with Jerry Lee Lewis and Elvis and all those folks. Yeah, I was so. going to say, the cover, she looks a little bit older, so I wasn't right. sure. Right, yeah, she, she just turned 73 <gasps> back in October. Oh so, my gosh, but, yeah. good for her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Fantastic so, record. Great. What else? Well, I'm going to start you off with Cold War Kids. Uh, this is their new album called Mine Is Yours. And this is a California rock band, but they recorded this album in Nashville and L.A. with producer Jucker King. He produced, like, Kings of Leon and Tom Waits. Nice. Uh, but they're going to be playing at Stubbs April 1st, so it would be good to get the album and get pumped for the show. Absolutely. Oh, that's great. All right. Next up, this is just an EP, and they did this as a 10-inch, hmm. which is very, very cool on vinyl. But uh, it's just a four-song EP. This is a, a record that came out of uh, uh, the Carolina Chocolate Drops, along with the Luminescent Orchestra, uh, met at the Folk Alliance in Memphis. Austin Connection there, the Folk Alliance is run by Lewis Myers, who was one of the, the originators of South by Southwest. But um, just this great down-home, folk, blues, country, gospel um, amalgam of old-timey instruments and songs. It's really fantastic And how often stuff. do you get records that size in the uh, store? Fairly often, really? actually. There's, there's a number of bands that when they're putting out EPs, they do it as a 10-inch vinyl. That is very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, Michelle, what do you have? This is my favorite of the week, <laughs> Iron and Wine, Kiss Each Other Clean. Uh, Austin's own Sam Beam is known for his whispery acoustic sound, but this album's a little different. It's a little bit more upbeat, and it's very late 70s, early 80s pop vibe. And we're going to be having a pizza party Wednesday, tomorrow at 5 o'clock, sponsored by Austin's Pizza, so you can come by and take a listen and get a free slice. Awesome. All yep. right. Always free food is good. And uh, Iron and Wine is going to be on uh, the Jimmy Fallon show tomorrow. No, tonight, actually. Excellent. Tonight, so they can check that out, too. Very cool. Next up, Amos Lee, and this is uh, produced by Joey Burns of Calexico, who worked with uh, Sam Beam on a previous record, and also has some great guest artists in uh, Lucinda Williams and Willie Nelson. So lots of Austin connections here on this record. Uh, great singer-songwriter record, a real jazzy, soulful feel. And uh, Amos Lee is going to be at the Paramount on Friday February 11th, and that's where you'll find me. And <laughs> did Amos Lee play at ACL recently, too? Yes, yes, he did. I was going to uh -huh, say that name right. sounds very familiar. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, what, what's the last one? This is No Joy. They're going to be playing at Waterloo Records today at 5. Uh, this is a girlfriended band from Montreal, and this album is filled with airy vocals, uh, melody, guitar, and lots of feedback. It's very 90s. It's a lot of fun. It's a free in-store today at 5. Fantastic. Our first in-store 2011. Very good. Mm -hmm. And then free pizza on... Tomorrow. 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 Right. You guys are busy. Always busy. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you, Katie. We certainly appreciate it. All right, we'll still have...